This video is going to walk you through the anchor unit for trimester 2. The anchor unit will focus on grammar rules this time. You will always be able to find the anchor unit in the top folder in your English 7 Schoology course. When you open that folder, here are the directions. You are going to complete all three folders in the anchor unit. When you've completed the formative work that's inside the folder, you will request access to the summative test. One difference this trimester is each folder will have its own summative test. So there'll be a test for the comma rules. There will be a separate test for writing titles correctly. And there'll be a third test for the apostrophe rules. Please follow the suggested deadlines so that you can stay on track and pace yourself throughout the trimester. The entire anchor unit, meaning all three folders, including all three tests, must be completed by the last day of the trimester, which is March 11th. Do know that this time you must have everything done by 5 p.m. On the last day of the trimester. Now we're going to open one of the folders so you can see what it'll look like inside. Let's open up the comma rules folder. Just like last trimester, the point is to start at the top and work your way down to the bottom. Once you are to the bottom, you will have completed the entire folder. At the very top, there are notes. There's a PowerPoint in here that's going to teach you about the different comma rules. And then I encourage you to take notes by writing them down so that you can use your notes more easily on future assignments. So when I open this up, you can see here's the PowerPoint with all the information on it. Once I have opened up this PowerPoint and downloaded it to my Chromebook, I will be able to scroll through all the information on the comma rules. Here you can see it's talking about a specific comma rule, and it's giving examples of this rule being used in sentences. So I will scroll through, writing down whichever notes I think are relevant for the future, and when I'm entirely done taking notes, I'll be able to go back. I've now viewed this item, so I can start my first assignment. Once I've done the first worksheet, I can move on to the next one and so on. Once I have done all three worksheets, I can request access to the test. When I click on this, it's actually going to give me a form I can fill out in Kami. So when I open this up, here's my form to request the test access. All I have to do is type my name right here. Then I click turn in in the upper right corner. I click turn in again and it'll pump me, bump me all the way back to Schoology where I hit submit. And what has happened is Mrs. Borkerding has now received a notice with my name on it that I'm ready for the test. Once she gets this notice, she is going to be able to open the test for me. Until I fill this out, and get access, if I try to start the test, it's going to say this activity is not currently accepting submissions. That means I have not been given access to the test yet. Do not forget to request access to the test. Once I have finished everything in this folder, including the test once I have gained access, I can simply go to the next folder, which is about writing titles correctly, 
and I can start the process all over again, taking notes, completing the worksheets, requesting access to the test, and then taking the summative test. Ideally, you will have the first folder done by January 8th, the second folder by February 5th, and the third folder by March 5th. This gives you almost a month for each folder, knowing that everything has to be done by the last day of the trimester at 5 p.m. If you have any questions at all, you can contact Mrs. Borkerding by sending her a Schoology message.